welcome back to QA Crunch. This is Roshan Zameer. Alright, so today uh, we are going to see what's meant by synchronization and uh, how it is uh, achieved in Selenium Web Driver. So coming to synchronization, uh, this is a main topic and uh, this is not only in a main topic in Selenium and also it's a very main topic in all the automation tools. Uh, the reason for uh, synchronization uh, is the execution of the code and the application need to be in sync to perform your operation. For example, uh, you are going to click some uh, links, okay, assume as you are going to click this manual testing link. To click this, uh, you, ha you would have written some code, okay, so try to find elements by using this xpath.click. So if your page gets time, okay, if it's your uh, page uh, due to some network issue or some loading issue uh, due to some Ajax using the Ajax on your web pages, uh, the web page get, gets heavy page and it gets a uh, very time to load it. So your code waits for some time and if it's not able to identify this manual testing link, it will be throwing you the errors like no such element or element not visible or uh, element not clickable. Uh, those kinds of exceptions will be thrown at the runtime. Okay, So these kinds of uh, issues need to be uh, resolved by using the synchronization. Okay, uh, If you see uh, now the, we are having other tools like uh, Selenoid uh, Protractor on top of the Selenium to overcome these issues. Okay, so apart from that, if, if you see in Selenium, it has inbuilt uh, uh, inbuilt uh, synchronization concepts uh, by using uh, two kinds of concepts called as uh, unconditional synchronization and condition conditional synchronization. Okay, so conditional first unconditional synchronization. What does it mean by this? So this is uh, nothing but uh, uh, simple uh, Java concepts which has which will be using for this uh, by using thread dot sleep and wait commands. Uh, we will be passing the parameters inside this uh, in a seconds milliseconds. Uh, if you want to wait for ten seconds, you will be uh, passing ten thousand. Okay, so this uh, basically. Uh, um, unconditional things we won't be using any un uh, conditions uh, it will be uh, if you use this uh, weights in your code it will be just waiting for the particular time okay it just stops the execution it doesn't do anything okay so it's not much appreciable to use these kinds of uh, weights in your code okay so next is uh, conditional synchronization okay so conditional synchronization is uh, here we will be using the conditions to be set along with the time limit okay uh, assume as you are going to uh, wait for some particular amount of time until that condition gets satisfied so this is the main uh, conditional uh, uh, synchronization we will be using in our selenium okay so if you see here we have uh, two kinds of uh, conditional synchronization uh, one is implicit weight and another one is explicit weight so in the upcoming sessions we will be seeing uh, what's mean implicit weight and what is a explicit weight and under the explicit weight what we have as a fluent weight and what does the explicit weight does okay so these are all the main things in a synchronization and uh, again this synchronization is a main concept in uh, selenium and also not only selenium in other uh, tools also uh, if you are not using this properly uh, your execution gets uh, ex uh, gets uh, abater uh, with some uh, uh, exceptions okay so it's very uh, nice to handle this in syncreation and we'll be uh, looking more on these uh, implicit weight and explicit in the next tutorial hope you got an uh, idea on this syncreation uh, if you have any uh, doubts please uh, leave your comments okay if you like this channel uh, please subscribe it okay thank you